Hello everyone, I'm Chuck Gordner from Money Man 4438 and today we're going to be talking about my Profit Trailer Calculator version 6.10 for BTC. As you can see at the top of the page we're actually using Profit Trailer Calculator version 6.10 BTC. Everything I'm about to do in this calculator you can do for yourself once you download it from the file section of my Facebook group Money Man 4438. In this box it has a description that says initial BTC deposit. Place the initial amount of BTC deposited to your exchange. That can be for Bittrex, Binance, or Poloniex prior to using this profit trailer calculator. You will add up all of your Bitcoin deposits and place them in this box right here. In this box it says BTC price. The description is the value of BTC is refreshed every one minute from a page hidden in this calculator. There is no need for you to try to place the current value of Bitcoin here yourself. If you do, you're simply going to get an error message like this one. You have a Bitcoin calculator. For purposes of the demonstration, we'll place how much it costs to purchase Profit Trailer here. And right now, you can purchase Profit Trailer for $275.75. Here you have a link to my YouTube channel where you're going to find some valuable information not only for profit trailer but for Bitcoin mining. I use Swiss Gold Global for Bitcoin mining as a second source of passive income. I use the profits I generate from profit trailer using my Bittrex exchange to purchase mining contracts with Swiss Gold Global. If you find this calculator to be a valuable tool donations are greatly appreciated in Litecoin. Here you can copy and paste my Litecoin address in order to make a donation or you can simply use the QRC code to access my Litecoin account. This box says add the day of the month when you first started earning profit from Profit Trailer or Profit Trailer and Profit Trailer Feeder combined below. So here you would put in the date. This date is going to carry forward into the Profit Trailer spreadsheet. You'll also be able to put in deposits made in your exchange after purchasing Profit Trailer. Here you'll also place your withdrawals. Withdrawals from your exchange are going to have a fee that can be placed here. Your withdrawal and the fee will be combined together to tell you what your total withdrawal is in USD. Each of these columns have a description at the top. As do these yellow boxes. Here's your total BTC accumulated as of today's date so that you don't have to scroll down through the calculator to find the value for today. You can do the same thing for your total earnings. This gives you an average profit percentage. The little circle you see swirling around is Bitcoin refreshing itself. You have your average profit for BTC, your average profit in USD, your total deposits, your total withdrawals combined with the fees. These are your total fees and these are your total withdrawals. To the right of the calculator is where you're going to find your history. Your yearly history by the month as represented by the column titles. You can see the year and month and the monthly and yearly. Percentage 
profits USD and withdraw USD. For each year you have tracked your profit from profit trailer or profit trailer combined with profit trailer feeder. Now it's February. You see I don't have anything here yet. But if we would go back and change the date to February using the data that we input for the purpose of this demonstration and we go back over and look you can see that you would have history for the month of February. I have this calculator set up for the next 10 years. I'll probably be dead by then so someone else can hack my calculator, pick up the torch and set it up for another 10 years. The next cheat in the profit trailer calculator is your profit trailer spreadsheet. In this profit trailer spreadsheet you'll notice I've got the values color coded. Anything from 0 to 0, 0, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9 is going to be in green. Anything greater than 0 0.01 will be in yellow. Anything greater than 0 0.05 will be orange and anything in red is a negative amount. I've also color coded the week so that you can see by the week the amounts you've earned. There used to be values in these cells right here, but that got to be confusing. So now they've been color coded so that if you have a zero amount here, they'll be blue. The way to use your chart is to take your yesterday's profit, yesterday's profit, 0 0.002264. 7, 7. Point zero, zero, two, two, six, seven, four, four. and place it into your spreadsheet. Then in the white area of your chart click. That will then bring up your table with the arrows not the crosshairs. The arrows. Drag that amount down and pick up that profit for BTC. That's going to add that then into your chart. That was placed on 114 and so that put that into the chart on 114. There's a DCA and cost affordability calculator by JB He's a moderator in the CryptoGnome Discord channel. This is his version 1.5. I've paired this calculator with my own calculator because I find it extremely valuable. If you like his calculator, at the bottom here you're going to see his Litecoin address and QRC code. So feel free to send him a donation for it. The way that you use this calculator, it's set up to bring over your initial capital in BTC from the profit trailer page. However, if you don't want to put any history in the profit trailer page, you can simply type in the amount of BTC you're going to start with. And that will then calculate out the rest of the calculator. The way to use the rest of this calculator is to simply scroll to the right and you can see the white means that you've zeroed out as it shows here zeroed out you can do five pairs and four levels deep and it will zero out your money or you can do ten pairs three levels deep and it will zero out your money you can choose to change this so if you use three levels deep with ten pairs you can see that it zeroes out at three levels deep with ten pairs now you can change the percentage to anything you want. If we change it to 1.75, now what you're going to notice is that you can come 10 pairs at two levels deep and you still have money left over. Or you can come seven pairs at three levels deep and you still have money left over. Or you can come three pairs at four levels deep and you got money left over. Or you can do one pair at five levels deep 
and you'll use up the last of your money. If you aren't using percentages, you can place that in the next box down. That's 12.5%. Nobody's going to use that. You're in red all over the chart. So obviously, a zero needed to be there. You can see that even at 0 0.0125, we don't have much money to spend. So the beauty of this calculator is that you can work it until you do. Here you can see now that you can go 15 pairs at three levels deep and you have money left over. You can go 11 pairs at four levels deep and you got money left over. Or you can go five pairs at five levels deep and you still have some money left over. You can go two pairs at six levels deep and you still have a little bit of your money left over. But you, if you go one pair seven levels deep, you'll use up all of your money. That's the beauty of this calculator. Anyone can use it. It's there to help you determine what you can have based on the number of DCA levels and the number of pairs that you input will determine how this DCA cost chart actually works. There's a BTC history page because hey, who wouldn't want to know that if you had purchased Bitcoin on the 17th of July in 2010 you could have got it for 0 0.04951. Wouldn't that be a nice return on your money in today's world. Your calculator instruction page says watch the video. You need to watch this video if you haven't already watched it or if you've already watched it and you need some pointers on what to do. Be sure to back up your calculator. There are formulas in this calculator that if you mess them up you're going to have to be able to pull up a backup in order to use it again. My time is extremely valuable. I don't have time to do it for you. Again, if you find this calculator to be a valuable tool, donations are greatly appreciated, and you can send them to my Litecoin address, which you can find right here, or scan my QRC code. Your sales log. I use the sales log to pick up the days that I might have missed entering in the profit from BTC off of my GUI. This is very valuable to me. The way that you use this sales log is to first go to your GUI, click on sales log. Now this works only if in your applications properties file for profit trailer where you input your history to keep you place the numbers 99999. That helps you to keep your sales for almost indefinitely. Then you'll come here to the Excel and you're going to download your sales log. You come to your downloads file then and you open up your sales log and click enable editing. Initially I copied the entire sales log and placed it into the sales log of my own profit trailer calculator which is what I've already have done here. You can see that I'm up to January the 12th. If I needed to get additional dates from January the 12th until now, then I would come back to this sales log and find out just what dates they are. You can see that I'm down to row number 93. So that means I have to prepare my sales log in my own calculator with the number of rows I'm going to need. So I start doing a control plus and I add in all of the rows all the way down. I'll do 100 because I want to make sure I have enough rows. Control plus. I'm holding the control key down and the plus key and that's generating these rows. Now let's go down and see how far how many rows did we put in. 
So we still need more. You can either do one row at a time, or you can grab a bunch of these rows and highlight them. If you do 10 at a time, it'll add 10 more rows. Now we should have plenty. Okay. So now if you go back to the sales log and you highlight those rows from the 13th until now, and then copy them. You're going to come back to your sales log. You're going to come up to the top. You're going to right click in that first box, column A, and paste your stuff. You can clearly see I only have until the 31st of January because that's a sales log I already had saved on my desktop and I'm unable to get that from the VPS. So what we're going to do is explain to you what to do from here. You're going to find the date below this date here, highlight it, and do a control plus. That puts a space between the dates. You're going to do the same thing all the way down. Then you'll come back up to the top, and just do a control home, and you're going to copy this line right here. And you're going to place it in between each of your date rows. This helps you to separate them so that it makes it easy for you to determine the information. You get the idea. Once you've actually done this work, you're going to come to the top, control home again, you're going to highlight this first column right here, column I, or row, you're going to come up to the top and you're going to pick up and copy this right here. Now you can do a control F, click replace, and paste that. You're going to come inside, you're going to highlight in between the brackets, only in between the brackets, and then do a shift 8. Now click replace all. What that's done is that's gotten rid of all of the dollar amounts next to the BTC amounts, making it easy to calculate. In column N, you type equals S U, come down and double click sum, and then come over to column I and highlight those amounts. Then close the formula with a bracket and hit enter. Now you know what your profit was for the 31st of July. You do the same thing for the 30th of July. You 
type in equals SU, come down to sum, double click it, go to column I, and highlight the amounts. You see how important it is to have the dates distinguished. Use a parentheses, shift to zero, and close that formula, and hit enter. Now you have your profit for the 30th of July. The 29th of July, that's pretty easy. You can just do an equals and click on there, and that gives you that. For the 28th of January, again it's equals SU sum, you got to double click that sum, then highlight those two entries, shift zero to close the formula, and hit enter. Now you can take your profit for the day and you can bring it back over to your profit trailer spreadsheet and enter it in. If it was 0 0.011254789, you would just enter it. Don't forget to come over and click on the white space. After you've done that, using your arrows, drag your table down to add that in to your chart. Okay, it's really pretty easy. Now I use all of my profits from Profit Trailer to actually purchase TerraHash in Swiss Gold Global. Prior to using Profit Trailer, I was purchasing my own TerraHash with Bitcoin that I purchased using Coinbase through GDAX. But at Christmas time, Profit Trailer made me enough money that I purchased another 15 TerraHash. And then on January 8th, I purchased another 15 TerraHash. So I purchased 30 TerraHash with profits from Profit Trailer. What does that get me? I always believe in having a second income. Lots of passive income. Because the wealthy all know that you need multiple sources of income in order to be able to be wealthy. If you only have one in source and it goes bad, you've lost all your money. Right now I have 80 terahash and a little bit more. With Bitcoin at $9,308, I'm earning roughly around $2,000 a month with that TerraHash from Swiss Gold Global. I intend to purchase more TerraHash using the profits from Profit Trailer, thus funding one passive income with another passive income because I don't have to do any trading myself. Profit Trailer does it all for me. Again, if you like this calculator at the top, and you find it to be a valuable tool, donations are greatly appreciated in Litecoin. Here's my Litecoin address and my QRC code. I've had a lot of people donate to this calculator so that it can fund the time necessary to continue making it the best possible calculator for Profit Trailer there can be. Below this video, in the Show More section, will be a direct link to join coin tracking, which you will need if you live in the United States or any country that requires you to pay taxes on your gains. There's also a direct link to join me in Swiss Gold Global if you yourself would like to have a second passive income, as well as a link to join my Facebook group Money Man 4438, where you can find this calculator and all future updates. There are also 
other links below this video to Skype me or get a hold of me in general. And with all this being said, we hope to see you on the money train.